Hi everyone, my name's Scott. Welcome to Planes, Trains, Everything and welcome to Dipan in Belgium. We're on the coast of the North Sea, down by the French border, and today I'm going to be catching this tram, the world's longest tram route. This is the coastal tram and it operates from Dipan, near the French border, over to Kinoka on the Netherlands border. It's a distance of 67 kilometers or 42 miles and it costs a massive 2 euros and 50 cents. Now I thought that must be the cheapest tram ride in Europe until I thought of another one, Luxembourg. All public transport in Luxembourg is free of charge. So the second cheapest tram ride in Europe. Now the weather's not that great, but we're gonna try and, try and make the most of it. I haven't had breakfast yet, so what we might do is stop in Dipan Central, get a bite to eat, maybe a coffee, get me up to cruising altitude, and maybe stop along the way as well, because it is two and a half hours of non-stop trams, and have a look at the scenery. It just depends on the weather. It's supposed to get much wetter as the day goes on. So let's get on board. Well, it's not the best of days to visit the seaside in Belgium, but it has to be done. In the background there, we've got Dipan. About a mile and a half up the shore, we have got France. And that island on the horizon is called Great Britain. Right. <laughs> That's it, really. I had thought about walking up the beach a couple of miles to the French border. I suffer from a condition which I call frontierophilia, a love of land borders. Uh, I always love to see if I can find any border posts or any clues where that dotted line is between two countries. But I thought, I'm going to get absolutely drenched today. It'll have to wait for another time. Right, let's get back to the, the tram stop and continue this epic journey. I know you can't stand in the way of progress. You also can't stand in the way of people making a quick buck, all these developers. At least keep the facade, keep a bit of character in the town. But not, they want to flatten everything and build these private apartments. Right, where's that tram?
Okay, we're at Newport. Let's go for a little wander. Most of the buildings here are actually dated 1922, although they look a lot older. I guess they were probably damaged during the First World War and that's when they were rebuilt to their original design. What a beautiful area, I didn't even know this existed. I think we'll get back to the tram because we've still got a long way to go. I think the next point of call will be Ostend. You know, there can't be too many railway stations in the world where you can look at ships. This is one of them, Ostend Central. Also, I just got the waft of waffles, and it's just reminded me that being two o'clock, it's lunchtime. Hmm, I wonder. That was either the bravest seagull or the tamest seagull I've ever come across. He wasn't scared, he wasn't phased by me at all. And he got some of my waffle too. Right, enough of my waffle, uh, let's go for a little walk. Well, it's definitely colder here in Ostend than it was in Dipan. And uh, the wind direction, I think, has changed as well. A lot chillier, a lot wetter. I think this is the forecast rain that's now arrived. I'm going to have a quick look around, and then I think I might head back to the tram, because we're only about halfway along the journey.
Oops. No wonder that seagull was really nice. He knew I was breaking the rules. I love seafood, so when I see a fish market, I can't resist going in for a closer look. Poor, it stunk in there, it really did. I always like to see what's being dragged out of the local waters. Right, let's head back. There's a couple of kiosks back there and they're selling seafood platters for five, six and seven euros. If only I'd known about that before I bought my waffle because I'm pretty stuffed after that but uh, ooh, I was sorely tempted. I do love seafood. This station is called Blankenberger Pier, which is a good enough reason to get off and go exploring. Tempting though it is, not today. You can see Seebrugge on the horizon, maybe, and that's our next stop on the tram. And that's the pier. There's no one actually walking along the pier, which makes me think it could be closed. So I'm just gonna go for a walk along the sand dunes and see what the view looks like. Access to the beach. I've got a list of all the, uh, the tram stops on Tram Route Zero, which is what we're on. And there's a few around Zeebrugge, and I can't tell which one's the main one. So what I might do is just wing this. I might just kind of get off where everyone else gets off, because that must be the main stop. I really don't know what to expect in Zeebrugge, apart from ships. I guess we'll soon find out. Right, back to the tram stop.
be honest, none of the stations in Zeebrugge look overly attractive, but more people got off this one, I think, so I thought, let's get off here. Zeebrugge Kerk. And that's why the stop's called Zeebrugge Kerk. I've seen this quite a lot in Belgium. This kind of tree, the branches are laid out horizontally. Any idea what kind of tree it is? I'm useless when it comes to identifying trees. I don't actually know where I'm going, I'm just following the tram tracks. The next station is Zeebrugge Zeehaus. So at least it's still in the Zeebrugge area, so it won't be too far away. There are some serious roadworks going on around here, but at least the trams are still running up this way, so that's the main thing. Right, Zeebrugge Zeehaus. Okay, I get it now. The blue thing is actually a lifting bridge and it's in the lifted position. And I've just looked at the time and it's 5.30, so I need to get cracking. Right, where's this stop? So just when I thought I was going to have to walk all the way to Kanoka, uh, a tram went past and it actually stopped down here. So this must be Zeebrugge Zeehaus stop, which is a good thing too, because I've got a train to catch when I get to Kanoka. Uh, yes, I can see the tram stop sign. I think we're in luck. Okay, it looks as if during all that construction down there on the road, I've walked right past Zeebrugge Zeehaus, which is actually Zeeschluss, not Zeehaus. And I've come to the next one, which is Heist Dyke. See that? No wonder I felt as if I was walking forever. There should be another tram in about 15 minutes. Well guys, we finally made it to Kanoka, and I really enjoyed that journey. I hope you enjoyed it as well. Newport, that was a real surprise. I had no idea it was so lovely. That deserves a return visit, and I'll explore it in detail next time. Oostend also deserves a return visit, but on an empty stomach so I can enjoy those seafood platters. And Zeebrugge deserves a visit only if you're catching a ferry or I develop an interest in container terminals. Anyway guys, thanks very much for coming along, and I'll see you next time.